Hi everyone, it's Christine Kane here. I'm the founder of Propel Women. Now, over the next several days, Propel Women has partnered with the Bible app to offer a guided prayer journey based on Matthew chapter 9, verses 37 to 38. The harvest is abundant, but the workers are few. Therefore, pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest. Now, the word send out in Greek means to propel. It's the word ekvalo. So this year, we're going to do exactly that. We are going to pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out workers to propel us into his harvest field. Now, the harvest is plentiful. In fact, Jesus said 2,000 years ago that the harvest is plentiful. So the opportunity for God's kingdom to advance is right here and right now. I believe that the key to seeing that happen is prayer. Now, prayer simply means to talk to God. It can be a conversation that happens in your heart or out loud. It can happen alone or in a group. It can happen with our feet firmly planted on the ground or thousands of feet up in the air when you're flying. But here's the awesome thing. As we pray, God listens. God speaks and God responds. I believe that prayer moves the heart of God. And when God is moved, God moves mountains. So wherever you are right now, God's presence, his power and his provision are available to you in every circumstance. God is with you. He wants to spend time with you. There are huge needs and opportunities in the world and God has a purpose and a plan for how he wants to use you in meeting those needs. And it all starts with prayer. So Jesus has told us how to pray in the Lord's Prayer, but he actually told us what to pray in Matthew chapter 9. He said, pray to the Lord of the harvest to send forth laborers into the harvest field. So as we pray to the Lord of the harvest to do that, remember, we are the very ones that are laborers being sent forth into our harvest field. So whatever your sphere of influence is, whether you are the CEO of a company, whether you are a doctor or a lawyer or a nurse or a stay-at-home mother, whether you go to college or school, whatever your sphere of influence is, as we pray every day that God would send forth laborers into the harvest, let's believe God that we are the very laborers that he's sending into the harvest field. Let's open our eyes. Let's see the opportunities around us to be salt and light on this earth and to make a difference in our generation. We started with Propel with this one prayer in mind. Lord, we are praying to the Lord of the harvest that you would send forth laborers, me, into your harvest field so that people would see the grace and the truth and the life and the redemption and the hope of the Lord Jesus Christ through our lives in their world. May God use you today in your harvest field. We believe that you are ekvalod, sent forth into your harvest field in Jesus' name.